Dear friends and followers, welcome back to my channel and lovely greetings from the Cargolux Tire Shop. As today's video, we'll be talking primarily about aircraft tires. What are the differences between the tires on your car and an aircraft tire? How are they filled? How many landings can you perform with one aircraft tire before they need to be replaced? And what all of that has got to do with a candle? Let's spin up those wheels and let's get started. <laughs> Zulu Fox Jet Heavy, right on Zulu. When you get to Juliet, follow Delta Airlines from the right. Monitor one two three nine. Now let's first look at the difference between the tires on an aircraft and your ordinary car or truck tire. A lot of numbers will be thrown at you right now, so stick with me. For starters, the most obvious difference is the size, with the tires on the Boeing seven four seven being some forty nine inches in diameter compared to just 28 inches on a standard car tire. Now add to that, that the Queen is fitted with 18 of these monstrous tires certified to hold 56,600 pounds each. Now a little side note, you might not know, but all these tires you see here belong to the 747. Do you see any difference? There isn't any, the 747 has 18 tires which are all the same including the nose wheel tires which is relatively unique as many other airplanes have two different tire sizes on the nose and on the landing gear. Nevertheless aircraft tires are also rated to and tested at very high speeds as they will be regularly moving at similar speeds like a Formula One car. Now the same 747 tire is certified to speeds of up to 378 kilometers an hour or just over 204 knots. Now lastly, aircraft tires can be inflated to well over five times the pressure of a car tire to carry such massive weights as a fully loaded aircraft. So this 747 tire we've talked about can be inflated up to 200 pounds per square inch compared to an average car tire at just 32 psi. Many aircraft tire manufacturers also test well beyond the certified limits of a tire with Dunlop Aviation showing a Boeing 737 tire withstanding over four times its certified maximum pressure before bursting some at 900 plus psi. So now we know that aircraft tires can be filled up to much higher pressures than normal tires but what are they filled with? Now, whilst normal car tires are filled with air, an aircraft's tire is subject to such extreme temperature changes and environments during operation that the air becomes too volatile for use. For this reason, aircraft tires are purely filled with nitrogen. Now, because of nitrogen's inert properties, it doesn't react with the tire's rubber or with the rim metal and doesn't allow for combustion within the tire. Air also contains water vapor, which could lead to ice formation in the tire during cruise, whereas to nitrogen is free of water vapor and so ice cannot form. Now the big question is, how many landings can an aircraft tire perform before it needs to be rethreaded or replaced? Now this answer depends on the model of the tire used, but many aircraft tires can perform upwards of 150 to 200 normal takeoff and landing cycles before requiring servicing and can be rethreaded up to seven times before they need to be completely replaced. But this number varies a lot depending on the airplane weight, the airplane's landing speed, the runway surface conditions and partly on how smoothly the pilot lands his plane. Pilots and engineers do however check the tires before every flight to look for any flat spots or damage before it actually creates an issue. Now in the rare event of a tire blowout, the tire is designed to actually maintain its basic shape so that it doesn't dramatically affect the aircraft's ground handling. Now of course this will depend on the damage the tire has sustained but the designers have worked exceedingly hard to ensure that even in the worst case the damaged tire doesn't put your safety at risk. Now you might ask, Joe, what on earth has a candle got to do with an airplane tire? Well, the answer comes down to an ingenious pressure release valve to prevent blowouts in the event of overheating. Now, much like a candle melts as it burns, the tires of commercial aviation aircraft are fitted with a fusible plug 
which is designed to melt if the temperature within the tire gets too high. For example, if the brakes were to overheat or catch fire due to the extreme use, like an emergency landing, a rejected takeoff, or from a leaking hydraulic line catching on fire from hot brakes. Now, the nearby tires would then be at risk by becoming overpressurized and exploding. Now, this is particularly dangerous for the brave fireman approaching a burning tire. Because of the fusible plug, which will melt like a candle due to the heat, the tire will then deflate at a controlled rate to prevent explosion and injury. It is worth noting that the tire will not be able to be reinflated without service by a maintenance team and that the fusible plug will only prevent an explosion directly caused by overheating. Now, if the tire is punctured or heat is not the cause, then a fusible plug will not melt and thus a blowout may still occur. In an upcoming video, we'll focus on how an airplane tire is changed, the maintenance of a wheel rim and why they have this unique profile. That's it for today. If you have any more questions about aircraft tires or maybe some other aviation questions, please be sure to check out my other videos or ask me in the comment section below for the chance to have your question answered in a future video. Thank you very much for your time. Here's your checklist for today. Subscribe to my channel, check. Activate the notification bell, check. Follow my Instagram account, check. And don't forget, a good pilot is always learning, wishing you all the best. See you next week, your Captain Jeff.